Here upon the sun-drenched shores of the Mediterranean Sea lies Monte Carlo, scene of an annual race rally that draws the finest drivers in the world. Unfortunately, our story begins far away from Monte Carlo, high in the gloom-shrouded Transylvanian Alps. This is Monte Carlo, also scene of an annual race, the Monte Carlo Monster Rally. Headlights on your racing car, Tom? The Monster Rally is held only at midnight during a full moon, Marigold. Tom, boy, are you sure you want to go through with this race? Frankly, no, Gertie. Then why don't you withdraw, Tom? There's no such word as withdraw in auto racing, Marigold. Besides, there's a penalty for withdrawing. What is it? They cut off your leg. Look, there is Prince Monte Carlo himself. Who's that with him? His ex-wife, Sepulchra. Ex-wife? You mean they're divorced? No. She died in 1943. Mm -hmm. It's midnight. Start the race. What a field of contestants we have with us, folks. Who's the pretty one? Here's Lobo Fanguzzi, at the wheel of his four-claw Wolf Ferrari Road Ripper. Yay! And apparently still recovering from a bad accident, Fred G. Frankenstein and his Le Monster Special. Yay! <sighs> and there is the defending champion, the renowned auto racer and well-known vampire, Count Lou Gossi. Fueling up his famous red corpuscle bloodmobile. Yay! Who's the pretty one? And piloting the Thunderbolt Grease Slapper, the American Challenger and Good Sport First Class, Tom Slick. Boo! Don't be disheartened, Tom. We're rooting for you. Me too, darling. There's no such word as disheartened in auto racing, ladies. <laughs> Depressed, maybe. Hey, let's -a go. That moon ain't gonna stay full much longer. Remember, I must be back in the coffin at daybreak. Very well, my dear. Will you fire the starting gun? <laughs> yes. Ow! Sweetheart, you hit one of the peasants. So? Peasant season doesn't open until next week. And uh, there they go. Uh... Tom Slick in the Thunderbolt Grease Slapper breaks into an early lead, followed closely by the Frankenstein Le Monster. But wait. Closing fast on the Le Monster is Lobo Fanguzzi in the Road Ripper. Ha-ha. <laughs> now I'm going to use the Fanguzzi grill to bite his tires off. <laughs> oh, Gertie, Frankenstein's two rear tires are gone. He is in serious trouble. Hmm. It looks as if Fanguzzi can't get his grill loose. Hey, what's the matter? Let the go. It looks as if the wolf man has bitten off more than he can chew. They're both out of the race, Gertie. Good riddance, I say. And Tom is still in the lead. But here comes Count Lugosi and the Red Corpuscle. Just one more lap to go, Tom. They are all even. They're neck and neck, neck and neck. Please don't say neck. It makes me so hungry. Now the Thunderbolt Grease Slapper is pulling away from the bloodmobile. Come on, old girl. Let's show them what Yankee ingenuity and know-how can do. It's no match for Transylvanian cunning. Come, my little friends. Time to go to work. Oh, rats. Bats. I'll wager Count Lugosi is behind this. Not behind Yankee Millsap. Count Lugosi is in front. Gertie, the Count cheated. Tell me something new, honey. Away, confound you pesky bats. Hold on, tomboy. I'm almost finished with my knitting. What are you knitting, Gertie Growler? What's it look like? A bat mitten set. Hang on to me, dearie. That is wonderful. Would you believe it, hon? That's the first time I ever played badminton. Approaching the finish line, dirty guy Count Lou Gossi is still in the lead, and it looks bad for the gallant Yankee challenger, but what's this? A five-foot rooster has appeared at the finish line. <laughs> what a terrible thing to happen. A rooster crowing. <laughs> 
it must be daybreak. Ready by time for all the vampires. The Count's car is stopping. He's getting out. Now he's getting in. He's lying down. There goes the lid. And here comes the winner, Tom Slick. Here is the Monte Carlo Cup, Tom Slick. Congratulations, sweetheart. Come along, dearest. Time to feed the cobra. Oh, very well. Good heavens! Think nothing of it. It's not the first time my wife has lost her head over a pretty face. Congratulations, Tom. Marigold! You were the five-foot chicken. I can't believe it. Why not, Tom? Because there's no such word as chicken in auto racing, Marigold. <laughs>